In today's health headlines, what a twin study revealed about vegan diets, how accurate is a blood test to diagnose Alzheimer's, and when should men consider getting screened for inherited cancer gene mutations? Joining us now is Dr. F. Perry Wilson, associate professor at Yale School of Medicine, Yale Medicine Physician. Welcome back, doctor. Thanks for having me. So a twin study, let's start with that. It showed that a short-term vegan diet might have some anti-aging effects. What do we know about this? Yeah, I, I love identical twin studies because, you know, there's just no better control than to have your identical twin. And so these are 40 pairs of identical twins, one of whom was given a pretty healthy omnivore diet, you know, something that we'd all be proud of if we ate that well. The other, an entirely vegan plant-based diet. And after 21 days, they looked at a variety of what are called epigenetic markers, stuff on your DNA that correlate with aging. And, and sure enough, the people on the plant-based diets, the twins on the plant-based diets, had better markers showing they had sort of aged less over that period of time. Now, there's one major caveat, though, and that is that the people on the plant-based diets tended to eat less calories. So we can't be entirely sure this is just the magic of veganism or that, you know, eating a bit less calories is good for you. But in any case, a very interesting study. It is. This one's a big deal. A new blood test uh, to diagnose Alzheimer's disease showed surprisingly accurate results. This, again, could be really significant for many people even here in our state. Oh, absolutely. I mean, this has been people have been trying to do this for decades to find a, a good blood test for Alzheimer's disease. No one has really come close until now. These are a couple of markers um, that are variants of the tau protein and amyloid protein, which are present in Alzheimer's disease. In this study of around 3,000 people, they compared the blood tests like this to a more definitive diagnosis, which is done using cerebrospinal fluid from a spinal tap. Um, they found that the general practitioner's prediction was correct about 61% of, of the time for the patient. The uh, dementia specialist's predictions were correct about 72% of the time. The blood tests were correct upwards of 95% of the time, so better than even these expert clinicians. This is not available quite yet. This still needs to go through some FDA clearance processes, but I think we will see this in clinics in the future. And last but not least, uh, there are calls for more screening of men for BRCA1 and 2 gene mutations. Who should be considering this type of screening? Yeah, I mean, typically we think of this, these mutations, BRCA1 and 2, as associated with breast and ovarian cancer in women. But uh, many people don't know they're also associated with prostate cancer and pancreatic cancer in men. And the, the criteria for screening are, are quite similar, including if you have a first degree relative who developed breast cancer below age 50, which is sort of the, the common reason many women get screened. But men can be screened as well. Um, there are other uh, indications for screening, including being of Ashkenazi Jewish heritage and, and several others. This is definitely something to talk to your doctor about, but it's a good idea to get the word out. This is not just a gene mutation that leads to cancer in women. Some great information, Dr. F. Perry Wilson. Thank you so much for joining us today. Anytime.